Aquila. I thought we'd have a little opener first. Uh, it's great to have your company this afternoon. How are you? Um, listen, we have got a fantastic one day special for you. Yes, we have. I've even got one hand on my hip because I'm so excited. And we've got someone who's looking very fresh today, <laughs> actually. It's our John. It's the boy next door. Hello. I like your hair, John. Is that because I had a month off? Thank you. I don't know. And it's gone shorter, hasn't it? And more. Have you been away? You look nice. And... I, I, I have, yes. Ah. We have been away. Oh. We'll have to talk about that later. <laughs> We're looking very well. It's great to have you thank company. Thank you. are looking very well. Very um, red. Oh, I thank you very much. Um, I'm in the pink, as you are. they say. Uh, right, your one-day special. Look at the price, first of all, on your screens. It really is an amazing deal. £26.98. That is for both of your micros here. Now, normally, they're £14.99 each. That £3 saving you've got there. They are worth every single penny for your micro magic. Now, we do have a complete collection with you uh, that includes your daubers if you want to go for that and I think John that most people if not all are going for that complete collection because these are worth 19.99 but together with your Magic Micas, 42 47 you're going to need these, aren't you, you, John? You do. I mean, I, I treat myself... I'd love to say I treat myself to a new set every year. Yes. But I'd probably do it every six months. I just love... I know it looks sad, but look how pretty it looks when it's just half done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a true crafter. The fact you get them in the case as yes. well. And I used to pay for five of those when they had that posh name on them. Yes. Of the Mr Man. So I used to pay for, like, that set there... I used to pay six pounds. Wow. Well, that but shows. I'm getting all of those, but you need them to go with the mic. Yeah. The re main reason is do not use your ink blenders okay. with your micas. Right. The only reaction we've ever found is if you use one that's got the ink on it yep. and use the mica on it, after a while it mushrooms, it balloons. Okay. And the bit top pops and gets bigger. So what? have a set for your ink. These are my ink ones. Have a set for your micas. Actually, are they available on their own? They are. They're always right. available. Right. If they're available on their own, that is a really good idea because you could go for another one of those and put them into your basket, and then you can open up a flexi buy so you can start dividing the cost. Um, they are an essential, really. What an incredible deal! Whatever you choose to go for, uh, if you're going for an extra set, if you're going for the complete collection, or if you're just going for the magic markers, you're going to be so amazed by them. Let me show you the colours that you're going to get, and let's explain to people, John, what the markers are. The Magic Micas, because I've seen them in action before. You wait till you see them. So, John. So, basically, Mica Magic is Mica Powder. Okay. Yeah, which we're used to having. But it's not, because it's Mica, it's pigment, it's a binder, okay. and it's pressed into a cream. And why so is that important? effectively, it's a cream. Well, the difference is, Mica Powder, yeah, doesn't stick on its own. No. You have to stamp with embossing ink and dust over it. That's one yes. technique. Yeah. Or you mix it in with your gel mediums and use it. That's two techniques. Yes. Or you add it to a bit of glue. That's the same technique as the second one. Yes. It stops. Yes. Yeah. What the difference with these is these have got the binder so that these will go over your stamped images so you can stamp it. So I'll show you on the overhead here. This is me running my Comagic over a stamped image with embossing ink. But it, it goes darker where it is, but sticks anyway. Wow. And this is onto vellum. And I bet you didn't use a lot to do that. Oh, hardly anything. But you're getting the 30 colours. But this is it in a mould, which I'm going to show you. So there's in a mould. Okay. So that's in a white, that's resin. Hang on, hang on. So do you mix that in no. with the... I'm going to show you. You put it into the mould and you just pour your resin on top and it doesn't move. No. That's it. Straight onto wood. Oh, John, Straight that's... on, no gesso. That yeah. is beautiful. And then that's it the same. Straight into wood, multiple layers and stamped over with VersaFine because it's neutral. This is on a plastic watch. Look. Plastic moulded watch. How wow. metallic that looks. This is gessamite. Gessamite? Gessamite, which is like a moulded porcelain. Okay. But look, none of it's gone into it. That's all grey. All of that colour is just on the mould. And that stays within the mould. That's <coughs> not going to come off at stays any point. Stays within the mould. Yeah. That's it on an embossing folder. Oh, that's beautiful. On white. Yeah. That's it on an embossing folder on black. Because it's mica then all the light colours work on black and brown and all your dark colours, which don't with inks. Wow. Do you know what? We have got two colour sets for you. They are beautiful. The one I'm holding at the moment is the summertime, uh, or the spring, should I say, with all of these beautiful colours in here. And what you're seeing is white card, then you've got black card, but then you've also got 
a lovely flower that's been placed in a mold and these are made from resin and that was just simply put into the mold and then the resin poured in and you can see it's just picked up all of that wonderful color so that's your springtime going through the colors you've got the lovely pinks you've got your pastels in there and you've got the yellows absolutely stunning it really really is and you can see there how differently they work on the white and the black card they do because they've got if you use ink yeah you could get these effects but not the shine from using yes. an ink on the white but on the black card you can't get that effect because the ink just soaks in okay because these have got mica mixed in with the pigment it means the mica creates a mirror barrier which shines the pigment out so it doesn't matter what colour you put it on, yeah. you, will get a diff you will get the colour that's on top shining. If it's on a darker colour, it just darkens it slightly. Wow. Do you know so what? you how see exciting. on the board that you've got there, yes. if you start in the top corner, you see how vibrant that red is on the white, but then look how vibrant that red is on the black. Wow. It's like a different tone. But then if you look at the flower in the middle, that's the mica appeared, applied just to a silicon mould just rubbed in and then silicon and, and sorry then resin added on top and I that's fixed and permanent and washable it is absolutely amazing does it work similar can you use it similar to like a gilding wax you it's, know if you it's like a gilding wax yeah. and a mica powder and a product that will colour your resin or your paper clay or your mould. So when you're making your little doggies, you could now colour them with this and make them shiny. Could I do that like with a brush? You can do it with a brush. You can apply it with a brush like an eyeshadow paddle. You yeah. can, the daubers are perfect for yes. applying it. You can apply it with any of your tools. You can apply it with your finger and it will work on plastic, cardboard, concrete, wood. The only thing it doesn't go directly onto is glass or metal concrete so you can go straight onto stone with it wow do you know what i mean this is just incredible let me show you some samples here this is a beautiful box as you can see uh colored with the micro you see they're just tilting it in the light now that looks cool it does so that's a black box this that's been stenciled through with mica yeah and then the, the top is a piece of um air dry clay paper clay wow. that's been colored all the color on that box is mica magic everything <laughs> Same with this little frame you're going to show next. I've got one of these at home, you yeah. know, one of these frames. So um, all of that colour yeah. is Mica Magic. Wow, just on the outside? No, and on the inside. Oh, and the and inside on the as design. Well. I everything. thought that was metal. No, that is Mica Magic. That is fabulous. Oh, look at this. Let me show you this. This is wonderful. This is a journal. Um, and this is the cover. Doesn't this look amazing? And that's, I think that's a mixture of Zuri Moles. I've got to thank Art Angel for these amazing samples. Now they are amazing, aren't but they? She's used on there, she's used texture paste because it goes over texture paste. Heavy body medium, it sticks to that. Wow. Gel medium. This is going into a mould, which I'm going to show you in the second demo. But look how intense the yellow is. None on the back. I just think this is None incredible. None of it soaks through. Now, we are getting busy. 623-333 is your item number. That is for the full collection there, including your daubers. We are over 70% of the stock gone. It does not surprise me. This really is an incredible deal. I can't wait to show you the demos. But what I do need to show you, I'm going to have to come to the back of the set as well. I might need a crane. Now, let me just pick these up because we have 10. Is it 10? 20. Tw no. 20 embossing folders which works out to be with the happy hour deal that we've got is it 50 pence per embossing folder oh this is incredible john i'm not even going to ask how you've done it i don't it want to ask mental and it's all a mix of brands there's some leanne in there there's some marianne there's some crafts too there's some leanne creative in there there's some Joycraft. It's a real mix. It will contents will vary. Okay. But you will get twenty embossing folders, Sorry all different one. styles, sizes, everything. So they're all there's no A4. They're all yep. sort of A5 or smaller in there. But there's twenty of them. I mean, if you know someone has just started crafting, what an incredible deal! And I deal. never do. I never buy presents in January. I know everyone says to do it. I cannot be that organized but, but that's something i would buy and wrap up for a new crafter and give them at christmas well for 9.99 you could split this up into 20 different friends maybe you've got a workshop that you do what a lovely little gift for everybody uh, and it's only costing you 50 pence because you're getting 20 assorted embossing folders you could try out all your different letterpress techniques use your different card stock and also use your magic micro as well 
99 have you seen how much you're saving that is just incredible again please don't email in and ask how we've done this because i'm not even going to ask john well, the, the i don't saving, want to know the 90 pound saving is conservative that's saying that each one of those was 4.99 some of those were 8.99 yeah i bet what an incredible deal what an incredible deal already 40 percent has gone of the happy hour i don't think it's going to last if 40 percent of the stock has gone in 10 minutes now's the time to get them into your basket you might be going with of course your one day special all into the same basket and half the stock has gone they're absolutely flying out it doesn't surprise me right john let's see some demos can't right, wait so i've shown you card i've shown you embossed card i've shown a lot of things i'm going to redo the molds because so many people have asked me about yes. this and i think you've finally been able to get hold of the mold because everyone's been asking yes we about have the mold i've been using we do have the mold it has got the uh, perfume bottles and the atomizer in there and we'll put the details at the bottom of the screen it's only 18 pounds and 79 pence and you too can make these beautiful molds and use your micro magic with it as well you can head to the website we should have some resin available for you if you need it and we've also got some air drying clay as well so you can get everything at the same time which is absolutely brilliant all good to go when you get your goodies home right john right so what i thought i'd do is now go a little bit not advanced but okay. show something a bit more complex question i get asked the most about is vellum or parchment right how do you color vellum and parchment how can <laughs> we do it how so, do you do it Mike magic okay so I've embossed here a piece of vellum just with the time embossing folder the clocks when we've got on the show yeah now if I what happens when I put ink on vellum well um, I would think if it's if it's inky wouldn't it smudge it and, smudges yeah. sometimes it rolls off yeah sometimes it beads up well, there's and sometimes nothing to it, hold it. There's, there's nothing because it's not porous mm. okay but with Mike magic it works because it isn't a wet product so look That's stuck. John, that really is amazing. So what I can do is, so I can go through, I'm just going to do this quickly. Okay. Now, what I would suggest is having one dauber right. for each colour. Okay. But for speed of me not changing them, I'm going to change into a new one. Okay. I'm going to swap and check, just use one, because the great thing is, Micro Magic doesn't contaminate itself. So you're going to use one dauber, one dauber. but for different colours. So here's I'd green. like to see this. Okay. Okay. So we started with green, I'm going to add a little bit more green into that one and I'm going to go some green there. So what's what's the antithesis? So I go for pink. Go for pink. So same dauber. Can you see this? Same dauber. No green in the pink. Surely when I put that's this on, look. Pink, no green. No. So I go to yellow now because that's gone a bit brown. Look, nothing in there but yellow. Sh now, surely not. So let's go to the metallics. You might think, oh, well, it's because it's thingy. Let's go with grey silver. Yeah, let's put some grey silver on, okay? And so now, oh, I think that's a bit bright. I've had some white. John, I don't, this, the this white, is mind not, blowing. Not contaminated it. Oh, look, it's white. <laughs> it's why we called it Mica Magic. How does it do it? How, how can it? How, I, my mind is blown. Is held within the mica, which is held in the suspension of like a cream binder. Okay. But it's dry. It's made with pressure. Okay. So once you start going, it's being pressed down to create the pressure. Once you've done that, that's it. Do you know what? This is, this is like being in an algebra class. Don't ask any questions. Just put the information down on the paper. Yeah, it is. And, and it, it will, will make work. sense. It will make sense. But I'm sense. using the same dauber every time. This is incredible. Because, you know, mica is a, is a dry powder. This yeah. isn't. It has a binder. It's put under immense pressure right. to turn that into a, effectively a cream. So, so if John, I show you here, let me ask you a question. Can we mix the colours? Can we blend the colours? No, because they layer on top of each Got other. You. Okay. So I'm going to show you another um, technique in a minute where I'm going to phrase it through. But look, what happens is, if I show you in this gold here, okay? Look, that is now, look, a cream. Okay. You see on my finger? Yep. That feels creamy. It's okay. a cream. Okay. I take a brush to it. Look, I can make powder. So I, I can I make powder, but I just put my finger on and rub over and it's back to being a cream. So when it's powder, would we do that? Could we use it as a powder? Yeah, I'm going to do that when I do the uh, technique showing the oh, thing. Isn't this fantastic? So there, but if I hold this one up now, can you see? That's coloured on vellum, that's permanent, that's fixed. Can I have a look at the back? Yeah. As well? Do you know what? Because I would do it on the back personally do you know to what? shine through. Doesn't doesn't that look lovely but showing through? Because you've still got the numbers with the, with the white colours. Oh, you could use this either side. So it's John. like using your white work. So you're not having to buy pencils or anything to colour your 
or anything extra wow. because of course you've got to use a dry product on mica. This really but is amazing. On the vellum, yeah. what I'm going to do as well is one of the things you could say, right, well, I could do that with gilding wax perhaps. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be, it would be more smeary, I think, yes. from personal experience. Yes. You know, you've used it. And also, I was talking to one of the buyers earlier. And there's no offence against any of the products. Okay. The cost of three gilding waxes yes. to work with your silicon moulds was twenty-seven ninety-eight. Yeah, it would be. It would this be. This is thirty colours for twenty-six ninety-eight. Twenty-six Something ninety-eight. Like that. Yeah. That's crazy. But. You I think it works out now. to be 75 pence per colour if you take the daubers off. Um, but do you like that sort of rainbow yes. coloured vellum? Yes. Yeah, really expensive to buy. This, I can promise you, this came from the Big River place. Okay. So this was next to nothing. So I put some white underneath so you can see a bit better. And again, we're using the same dauber going on so to all the of these different dauber. colours. So with the first one, you might say, well, John, you could actually do that one with a gilding wax. I couldn't do this with a gilding wax. And I'm making my own sort of rainbow vellum. I'm literally just adding lots of colours to show how they don't contaminate each other. So again, you probably would make it prettier than I'm doing no, here. No, I like it, John, I like it. But I really like this. If I did this now with anything else, if I did this with an ink yep. to start with, that would be curled up. I like that. That's completely dry and flat. That's not changed at all. If I hold that up to the camera, you'll yep. be able to see I've actually made not only rainbow vellum. Can you see? Yeah, you've got I've that made shimmer. pearlized, shimmery wow. rainbow vellum. But the thing, as I said earlier, was I could maybe get a similar look with gilding wax, but yep. if I emboss that or yep. do anything to it or do white work on yes. it, then it will reactivate that wax, won't it? Oh, yeah, The pressure, of course. this doesn't reactivate. So now it's so dry this is, this and it's is, on the vellum. Well, it's dry as soon as it goes on. I'll show you how dry it okay. is. I'm going to put a big bit of red there and close the folder instantly. Okay. Because it's not ever wet, it's always dry. Right. So now I'm going to emboss this. I'm just going to use my Kaleido. Oh, we do have the Kaleido on the show, actually. We've got a great little deal for you if you want to go for that. And John will have a little chat with you about the Kaleido, but we'll bring the details up if you're already familiar with it. Um, we have been busy for this already, actually. 545390 is your item number. It's £149.96. I know it's a considerable purchase, but this will do so much for you, including your foiling as well as your embossing and using it um, as a die cutting machine but what you've got here is the opportunity to divide it into three payments so if you want to do that you can add your one day special the full collection to that particular amount and then divide that into three payments as well john so there we go i've just embossed that but it's not smudged but it's not smudged is it still dry it's still dry it's not leaked and look at the folder no did you clean it no brand oh uh, Janice, how long have you known me? <laughs> what a silly question to ask me. Sam's That's over the other side of the studio. He's the only one who would have cleaned it for me. That's literally completely dry. Look but at that. Non, even where I put that big red blob, none yep. of it moves because it's dry. So now I've got embossed, coloured, rainbow, shiny vellum, plus I can actually still go on and highlight some of the embossing because it will always layer. Wow. doesn't matter what size I get, side I go on. John, I've got some news for everyone about the happy hour. Um, we did say we were going to be very busy. It was an extraordinary deal, and you took that to heart, which means it's gone and sold out, everyone. It's gone and sold out, so I'm not going to um, let you know about that anymore. That was an absolute bargain. Well done for getting that. Absolute bargain, it really is, as is your one-day special. You can see all the different techniques that we're doing with it as well. If you have any questions, please do email in. I'll try and ask as much as I can. Can. maybe have a different style craft I've just thought of another question as I said that I will ask John but if you have any questions please email in it's studio at the we actually have had a question um, Eileen has emailed in thanks for your email mom, Eileen what, what, were you, what are you mailing in for my mom <laughs> is that your mum's name my mum's name's Eileen Aww. yes um, right Eileen would like to know can we use the micro magic Eileen, you just read my mind because that's the question that I was going to ask. Can you use it on fabric? You can. Yes. 
um, and it's perfect. And I did have a sample. Yeah. Well, I should have a sample, but I haven't because Mr. Royal Mail's not been very nice to us. Oh dear. So poor Maxine's samples, even though they were sent the day before New Year's Eve, have not arrived with us oh. yet. I know loads of people at home are having the same issues with their post at the minute because of everything that's going on. She'd actually coloured ribbon with it. Ah. So you can colour your ribbons. You can't colour fabric and make it washable. No, so it's got to be something that you're making and creating as like a decorative As a purpose. decorative pe purpose. I yeah. tell you what, what about if you're power texting? Yes, it works on your power... You mean like this? Oh, yes! Directly on to your power text. Oh, now, now, that is... Would that be from the winter collection, the colours that you've it got is, on there? Yeah. Yeah, so look, doesn't that look amazing? But I can add to that. Sorry, Art Angel. But see what, where he went? She's got like a blob of it. Yeah. Like a blob of glue. I can still even colour that. So, forgetting all your rusty effects, forgetting all, uh, like, your patina effects as well, I guess, John, because we've got some greens in there, You've haven't we? You've got the greens, so and I we've could got put a silvers. green on, and then I could put a copper on the top, a little bit more green, a little bit of copper, and there I've got... Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, look. that looks amazing. But so this is power tax. Oh, amazing. So, straight onto yeah. that. So, again, but as I was saying earlier, You've got 30 colours in here. Yes. Now, if it was the price I quoted earlier, which is a, a price that's on your website, yeah. yeah, so that would cost me £27. If they were gilding wax. Yeah. Yes. If they were gilding wax, and you'd have a bigger quantity, and yes. it has its place. Yes. I've got some of it, uh, you know, I use that in other things, but that's, so that's it's 25. Yep. And there's 50. Yep. Yeah. There's 75. Yeah, you can keep going. There's 100. Yeah, 125. Yeah. Yeah, 150. I'm glad you're yeah. doing the math. 175, yes. 200. Go on, John. 225, yes. 250. Gosh. But you and know... And you won't use tons of that colour or no. that colour or no. that colour. You might use more of your golds and silvers. But again, you can get your gilding wax in big quantities yeah. of those. To me, these pastels and these extra green shades yeah. are the ones I wouldn't buy. And you don't need a lot of each one to colour whatever it is that you're adding the colour to. It might be your power text. It might be your air drying clay, for example. And with your air drying clay, just to prove a point, I think there's a little happy accident just there. Sorry, it's broken Art Angel. off. Yeah, very sorry. But that just shows you the actual micro is just on the outside. It's not blended in with the clay you don't need to do that that's going to use an awful lot and sometimes you don't necessarily get the color that you want when you're trying to blend in colors to your clay because it might be white clay that you're blending in or black clay for example or, or gray or red whereas this just goes onto the outside and gets you the color that you want by using it directly into your molds we can of course use this with our card crafting you can put this onto your card you can send that through let me get this the right way around there you go through your embossing folders and then of course with that vellum as well I think that's just an incredible idea we've seen with the vellum from John as well not only does it look fantastic on one side but on the other side it also looks amazing as well you don't need a lot to make a difference and that's why this is such a special um, deal for anyone I think John that's starting out in craft and we do have a lot of people joining us every day probably thinking right what kind of medium do I need that's going to cover so many different crafts and so yeah. many different types of mediums that you're using this is going to be absolutely perfect and if you do have your gilding waxes at home if you do have your paints you know whether it be acrylic paints or watercolor paints this is also a great addition because you guys know your craft and you know that you'll be trying out new things as the year goes on. What an amazing deal for your one day special. And remember, you're getting your daubers as well. 40 daubers. They're all in a case. Let me just turn this around because they're all individual. Look at that. So they've all got the little individual compartments. You've seen how the micros don't contaminate one another. It's amazing. It's almost like a magic trick. Um, try doing that when you get them home. It really is a brilliant, fantastic deal. £42.47. and pence. Now, three quarters of the stock has gone already. Three quarters of the stock. Beautiful samples. So we do need to thank the design team, the Art Angels. Craft Angels, Art Angels. Um, well, we just call them Lockers Angels. Lockers Angels. But if you look it, on the back, ooh, we, like we got them all a stamp for Christmas, individualised, personalised, that, that says on that has says their name on it and says on it. Look at that. Um, John next door and crafts too. I like. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh. And everyone, and we have got blanks ready for guests for this year. 
have you? We have got you know white stamps we kept ready for guests. Whilst I've got this um, up, isn't this a lovely example as well? And beautifully coloured. So we've got on here, what colours have we used on so here, John? So what she's actually used, this is, I think, Artangel had the winter set. Yes. Is that right, Sam? Yeah. yeah. So she had the winter set. Look at that. So she's used all of the sort of Christmassy greens and golds and things. But you see on the back where you've got that sort of through the stencil, you've got the gold. Um, I'll just, I'll, I'll turn it this way because it's, it's the before the watershed. Because it's isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So if you turn it to the next side to the back, see that gold bit there? Yeah. That's where she's taken a little bit out of the palette, crushed it or mixed it in with heavy body gel medium and gone through a stencil. So she's made her own gold pearlized Wow. texture paste with it that's amazing that's amazing and look we've got uh, a little mold there oh we did oh, that's have one, that's one of sammy's but the reason why i did that <laughs> um, the reason why that happened is because the bee just wants to fly away but also <laughs> he wanted to show you there you go it was meant to be it was meant to be but it's not supposed to be on there anyway it just no. got stuck on by mistake so there you go um, but it is white on the back because in the mold the color was used just inside the mold and then medium added uh, of resin talking of resin uh, we're going to add some resin to a mold on the show as well to show you and then unmold it later but we do have another question and it's about the Kaleido John and um, the question is from Jennifer the Kaleido's over here shall I step back shall I step back <laughs> and back hello and back, back here we go sorry John um, right the question is can you use the clear ink stamp that comes through with the Kaleido can you use this for foiling or is it an ink pad to use for like embossing right no the clear ink pad that comes with the Kaleido bundle yes. is to be inked with the Kaleido ink, which is the bottle that's next to you, the black bottle. You ink this when it's blank to make it into a black Kaleido ink pad. Oh. Yeah, because you'll find that the ink it's, that ink pad is dry and has nothing on it. If you actually mean, do you mean the white clear, the white liquid, which is the other little bottle that comes with it, the magic medium? No, you can't stamp with that because it's too sticky. Okay. That's a different formulation and that's right. designed to go through, that was designed to be more viscous so it goes through stencils, so yeah. you can foil stencils. Okay. And also so you can coat paper with it. So with, so, the, with the black um, ink that we have here, can we just keep refilling? You just refill it. Wow. So I would give you 60 mils because I just got fed up. I've bought re-inkers in the past. Yes. And you only know, got the little bottles of alcohol ink. You go, yes. oh, I've got a lot in there and you realise yeah. there's only nine mils. Yeah, yeah. Fills a pad once. This is my first new bottle that I've gone to is it? since first testing this machine. Wow. Yeah, so this is my, and this is literally was opened last night. Well, and, I... And you get in here, I think you see the sign, see there, you get 60 mils in there. So you get over 10, tight, 10 refills of what you'd normally have. And I have used in two years one bottle no really yeah. you and you know how much i've done yeah you and craft a lot for, for here and for magazines yes. and for the shows yeah every technique right i do believe uh jennifer ha can't find her black ink jennifer don't worry we do have replacements for you and you can buy them the details are at the bottom of your screen there nine one six five two eight so that's good news isn't it and that also comes with a, a blank ink pad as well uh, so maybe you want to add that to your basket so that's good news uh the full kaleido details are at the side of the screen 545390 £149.96 pence. you're saving £10 on that deal but you can divide the cost into three payments of 49.99 if you want to buy through PayPal you're always welcome to do that all the T's and C's remember that's tea and cake uh, are all with PayPal but John can we just have a quick word about the Kaleido machine for anyone that's not seen it that doesn't know what it is but they're interested and intrigued yeah the Kaleido is basically an all-in-one die cutting and technique machine it is arguably because I know people will argue with me and I'm quite happy to argue back <laughs> the best A5 machine I've ever used is for it? die cutting why so and embossing it's got a really robust system okay it's got a really robust it's all metal inside okay so it's metal rollers top and bottom yep. it's a metal casing yes. and it's metal gearing yeah a lot of your machines are broken well you know when you get a machine and you see like the black lines running through it yes and you think it's leaking oil yeah it's not that's the plastic of the gears breaking down being pressured by the machine and turning back into the oil. Ooh. There is no oil in a die cutting machine. No, there's not. I want to talk so. That's what it actually is. So it's all metal inside. Yeah. Okay. So it's a brilliant die cutting machine. This is my base plate. This is my five mil plate. This is my three mil plate. 
This has been used on every show and everything at home for two years nearly since I've been testing it and look, not a warp. Yeah, it looks hammered and yet yeah, it's, it's cracked warped. slightly and you can see how literally I treat my stuff so, so well. But you do a lot of crafting yeah, again, Yeah, I John. do. Yeah, so none of those are warped. So okay. that's to me why, and I put dies through it, it cuts them first time perfectly. Perfect. You can shim it. But it's also got heated rollers. Heated rollers? Yeah, so it plugs in and it's a manual. Sounds a bit like my mum, bless her. It is, my mum had those. <laughs> Basically what happens is, in combination with the Kaleido ink yep. or the Magic Medium, yes. you add the foil to your stamp, your technique, whatever you're doing. So you stamp with the ink, you put foil on, you run it through, and it will foil. Wow. But what I'll show, what I'll do, I'll tell you what, try something I've never do done before. To, so do we plug it in, John? You plug it in, okay. switch it on, it beeps three times when it's yes. up to temperature and you're ready to go. Wow. But there's a technique I've been showing on the show. Okay. This is the vellum, yep. okay, that I magic mic'd earlier, yeah? So you see the colours on there, yeah? This is my ink pad, just make sure this isn't, it is a bit dry. So just going to, you weren't playing with me earlier, were you? So that's actually... I thought you were talking to me, John. I thought. No, I'm going behind. No, I wasn't. Sorry, Sam's in the building. Please back. don't say I was. No, nope, I have just brought what the one, the new one. So didn't know if I brought the dregs of my old one. So I okay. hate doing this, but needs must. Cut it down a little bit more. I'm just going to add a bit more ink on to my pad. How okay. often do you do that, John? Whenever it's dry. Okay, yeah. and that's you'll know when it's dry. Yeah. What I tend to do, and don't do this at home, I tend to put my finger on it and see if any black comes off. But I wouldn't suggest doing it. Don't, don't do what I do, do what I no, say. No, no. So you can see now. So I'm just rubbing on here this black ink, yeah? OK. And it's only going on the raised surface. So Is I that on the technique. side that you put the magic micro on or matter. on the other side? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter okay. at all. This does not interfere with the foiling process. So if you're wanting to colour first like this and then foil... I do like the look of that, actually, John. So I go through like that. OK, so that's now covered. I grab some silver foil. And you do get foil with your Kaleido machine. You get silver, gold, blue... Oh, silver... You get ten colours plus an extra gold that wow. comes with your machine. I'm just going to line these up because this looks impressive. Uh, and in that colour, you've got some great uh, gold, you've got red, you've got pink in there. There they are. They're all the colours. Wow, you, you get a lot. And that's all the colours we do. There are no more colours. There are no new colours. No. We're not going to come back next week and go, oh, would you like to spend £50 and buy another 10 different colours? No. <laughs> that's what we do. We put everything in. So I've got that. Okay. Foil wrapped over. So we've plugged okay. it in. It's heated plugged up. Plugged it in. It's heated up because I was using this hot. Yeah. Because it doesn't actually matter. I can't smell anything I burning or anything. I can it hot. You won't. Foil goes in direct contact with the rollers. There you go. Wow, look at that. So it's only gone onto the bits where only you where put I the inked. ink. That's what's magic. And it was just like that? But look, it's not reactivated. No. The mica. There's no mica on the back of the foil. No. None's come off. Could we now then... I've got vellum that has been foiled and mica'd and coloured. Oh, my days. And I don't know anything else that does that. No. I genuinely don't know any other way to do it. This is one I did earlier on white card. Coloured with the mica magic, over with the black ink pad, and then foiled it through the machine that way. And then just straight through. And it only takes seconds to do. Yeah, true. And you can change your colours. Could you multicolour? Yeah. Could you have, like, little bits strips of... Strips and stripes strips and everything. And stripes. What you do is put all the little scripts on. Yep. Then you put a piece of kitchen... Yep. Um, black parchment paper yep. or greaseproof yep. paper over the top so that the foil doesn't get stuck to the roller when there's little bits. Run it through and it will foil just where it touches. And then when you've done that, you can go back to using it as a normal die cutting machine or with your embossing folders. Wow, that yep. is amazing. Right, we've had another question about the... Another couple of questions about the Magic Micro. So thank you so much for all your emails. It really helps. Now, the first question is from Vanessa. Now, Vanessa says she already has three sets of Micro Magic. Well done. Summer Brights. Um, summer Brights. Basic Brights and Basic Metallics. Basic Brights the and three. the Metallics. Yeah. Are these two sets all, all brand new, new colours? All colours. No repeats? Sam and I. Yep. This is from nearly a year ago. I'll do it on the overhead and make it easier. Sam and I sat down in our kitchen with the existing ones. Yes. We had all the colours available. Yep. And we put these together. And this is literally the very first iteration of these palettes. You can actually see them there. Yeah. Can you see? Da, da, da. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we know that none of these colours are the same tone or shade yeah. as any we've previously done because we sat there and we put them all out. The only one you've got a repeat of is white. Okay, which is good. Yeah, which is because good. you always want yeah. a white within every set. So every single colour, some of them may look similar tone, but they yeah. are all new tones, new shades, yeah. because we sat and did... That's why I wanted to keep these. Oh, I love that. Was to show you literally yeah. the work we got. I mean, look on the back, we're alternatives. Oh. But was there 500 colours? Yeah, 500 colours. 500 colours. That Sam sat, we printed them out, and he yeah. sat and cut them all into squares, going, yeah. I like that one, cut that one oh, out. Oh, fantastic. Stick that one on, no, don't like that one. Isn't that but brilliant? That's, that's all the blues yeah. that we went through to get those four blues in there. Wow. Oh, so that, yes, is, that is amazing to see that, isn't it? Um, here are the colours. Um, Vanessa, if you have just tuned in and you're thinking, shall I go for them, shall I not? We've got some great colours. These are on black card, white card, and the rose that you see there uh, is made of resin. Uh, which is brilliant so you can put these straight into your moulds whether you're using air drying clay resin or your other mediums um, you could be using your hot glue technique in your moulds as well it's going to work absolutely fine so you can see you've got your different colours in there different to the ones that you've already got and I'm sure by using the ones that you've already got you know just how fabulous they are that's just one of the palettes that you can see there I'm just going to simply swap them around oh look at this we're whizzing around like being at the fairground and there you can see uh, those wonderful colors as well we have had another question as you're perusing those colors and this question comes from hazel so thanks for emailing in hazel and someone who rang into the call center has also asked the same question john um does the mica need sealing specifically for resin clay or paper good question sealing yeah right no i'm going to show you how I do this and how we do the resin. Okay. So if I show you that, I can actually answer that question as we're going along. Okay. If that's okay, because it's better to show sometimes than just say, oh, yes or no. So what I want to do is, I've got here, this is the Zuri mould that we bought, Sam and I. Yep. Um, I think you've used it, haven't you, more than me? Uh, we it's do Sam have this available, Zuri by the way. Person. We do have it available if you want to go for it after you've seen this demo. So what I'm doing here, I'm just finishing this one off because I, I was conscious of the time. So what you can see I'm doing is taking and I'm almost making a powder with a brush yep. to brush it into all of those fine details, yeah? How do we clean it afterwards? So, sorry. Yeah, don't yeah. ask John how it, um, maybe I should shout over to Sam. Literally, you'll <laughs> see, because by the end of the show, hopefully, yeah. we'll have enough time to show so, you me demold it. Well, of course, because it, it will all stick it to all the... It all sticks to the resin, doesn't float, doesn't move. And, okay? then it would, and then it will just be clean when it yeah. comes out. But what of I'll do is, we showed the B earlier, so the yellow. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to take yellow, yeah. And put plenty of yellow in. Why plenty of yellow, John? Because I want to show you how the yellow looks against the white. Because okay. you showed the B earlier. Yes. And I know when I was talking to Julia McNeil earlier from JMC, yeah. she went, that looks so bright when they were watching it last night. Yeah. It was almost a case of saying, that's so bright, it can't be real. <laughs> it so is I thought, beautiful. It is. So I'm going to work that in just to show again one that you've seen me do live. Okay. Because there's no point when I say, you know, and you, you think, oh, it's been television tricked. How long will so it take for the resin to set? When we've we... got a 10, 15 minute resin. Oh, is it seven ah, minutes, says Sam? He's got a seven minute. Well so done, this is going to go over to my helpful assistant who's going to pour the resin. There's his hand. He saw his hand. Um, we're now, getting there with Sam, aren't we? I mean, we eventually, we, we've eventually got the hand, we will get him on air. We've got wrist, him in the studio the now. The arm, the shoulder, <laughs> yeah. the full regalia <laughs> will be delivered to you. We're, yeah. we're working on it. We're, we're in negotiations. No, he's not daft. He refused <laughs> to sign the release form, so we can't actually ever Aww. show him. So, oh well. what we've got here is this is one that was done that way. Okay. Okay. So this um, here's a. An errant, and I don't use them very often, but I was okay. past one earlier. Okay, you know it's I, for demo I got a purposes. Hate of, yeah, I know. Of, um, Biodegradable yeah, and all I, that. Yeah, I don't like his watch. Right, look. Nothing. A... Nothing will come off. Nothing will come off when it's been set in the mould because what's happened is the binder has come, has basically mixed with, not mixed with, the binder has sort of almost chemically worked with the resin. Wow. And it's basically, that is in there as if it was a piece of plastic that's been extruded in that colour. Oh, to show goodness. you it isn't there, none of it floats, none of it moves up. I'll show you when we open those Do you moulds. know what? That really is amazing. So because that needs no sealing Gosh. at all. Literally, I cannot. We tried scrubbing. Can you show the one that's just at the side of you, John? Because that's multicoloured, yeah. And I really right. like this. Because so this one, what I've done is I've taken one I've done in the mould. Yeah. 
So that's multi-cut. I don't know another way to do that in a mould. No. You'd have to dust the mica powder in and hope. Yeah, yeah you would. You, 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 you would. know, because I know yeah, you mould. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd have to dust the mica powder in and hope that it doesn't move. Yes. And it would. It's the same again. Then I've gone back over the top, which you can do still. So this would be like paper clay, say, that you've not coloured at first. You're going over the top. Now, I can start to take some of that off. Not yeah, much, but no. some. So if you really want, so if you've gone and done a couple of layers yeah. and you've sealed it and you've done it and you want to seal it, cheap hairspray. Okay. So if it's set in, nothing. But as soon as I start to go on this, because this is what I love, look. Oh, John, that looks amazing. But so on that detail, I genuinely think, see the bits here where yeah. it's gone in? I yeah. can dust those out. John, I'm thinking upcycling furniture. Yes. You know, like you've got... Well, I mean, you could put these moulds, and there's many, many moulds. Catherine does it with her furniture. She moulds, and then she... Well, she doesn't mould. Catherine doesn't mould. Uh, let me just clarify that. Um, she she moulds in moulds. She doesn't mould herself. <laughs> she doesn't stay still long enough to do that. Um, and but she doesn't you, go mouldy either. No, no. Um, and you can put those on... To, that's what I meant. She doesn't mould herself. Anyway, let's move on from that. Um, and you can upcycle your furniture. And even if you were to buy, I don't know, something from a second-hand um, a charity shop, for example, you could still paint it the base colour you want and then use the Magic Micro on top. Yes. Of course you can. How about then, John, how about the paint that I had on the DIY show? Um, that lovely rust converting paint for things outside, for example, that I want to put on the wall or maybe oh, the, the in my one home. You made, the one you convinced me to buy from yes. my Uncle Peter. Yeah. Could we use that? Yes. Oh, my days. It will go on anything like that. So you see here now where I've taken this green, and I love putting gold on the green because this suddenly has an imperial Russian look to it. Yeah, it does. Look at that now. That looks amazing. That, um, do you know what also I'm thinking now? I'm thinking oh. Easter's coming. How about all the little Easter yes. eggs that you can make? Beautiful. And you can colour with your micro magic? So if I wanted to sort of start to make it look a little older and verdigree it, let's take... But so far on this, I've used four colours because there's the green in the bottom. Yep. There's the gold, sorry, three colours. I'm now using a little bit of this. I'm going to go back in with another green to age it. Could you use white on there? Yep. <gasps> I love can you it. see the white? Yeah, you can. So if I want to tone that down, I want to tone that down, I'll go on with white. Do you know what's and great about... Look, if I hold that up, you'll see Wow. Do you know what's great about this, John? You've got your palette in front of you. You don't have all kinds of different tubs open. You don't have brushes. Nope. You, you were just actually using your finger I don't there. Even we've clean got, these. <laughs> we've these got the finger daubers available finger to daubers, you to use. Finger daubers, finger and two things. Yeah. Now, this might start to wash or wipe off. Okay. Yeah? So, it, it shouldn't do. I mean, I'd struggle... I'm going to try and get some of that off. Can you see? I'm getting some, but look. I'm not getting much off. No, it's only a tiny bit. Would, would I mean, if you so were to leave that, is, yeah. and then that wouldn't happen? No, because there is no drying time because it's not wet. OK. So what it is, is what it is. Yes. So if you are concerned, all you do is give it a light spray with very, very cheap hairspray. And I mean, you know the stuff you used to seal your face with? Yeah. Oh, and Adam still does, but Probably. he doesn't admit it. <laughs> when you've done your makeup, or yeah. the cheap hair lacquer, because yeah. you don't want this with all conditioners and oils yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. argan oil and you know El Netty expensive yes. stuff. The cheapest, ninety-nine people is a penny or M and B, and that will that will and that will seal it because that's what we artists, that's what artists use you know what? to seal their paints and their paintings and their pastels. Yeah. Half the time, I haven't sealed anything, and I've sealed nothing that I've done. So this piece here is not sealed. OK? Yep. Nothing's coming off. That is amazing. Yeah. Oh, my days. But if you want to seal it, if you're concerned, and if I'd done something like that and I was happy with it finally finished, then I would literally then spray it with a really light coating of hairspray yeah. just to give it a seal, just to stop any wiping off. This really is amazing deal. We do have some embossing folders on the show. I know the happy hour deal is gone, but I just wanted to show you the micros right here on those embossing folders that we've got for you uh, because they look absolutely remarkable. These are on black card, really like the cogs that you've got here on that black card and then just using that magic mica. But what's wonderful about this, you've got the different colours. And doesn't that look amazing? And then this one here, you can see you've got your That's greens in there, the gold. First. And then taking it through. And then, emboss and then wow. embossing it. 
because of course it doesn't reactivate then going yeah. over the top with new colours. So you've got these in your black card, you've also got them in your white card as well. £19.99 if you like the look of these embossing folders. There's three for you, it really is a great price and you can add these to your basket as well. Maybe you're going for your Collider, remember that is available on three payments. So if you were to add this to your Collider, it would be around about 8 16 24 £6, six pounds each, somewhere at £6.50 each so, uh, per month extra, uh, somewhere in the region of. But just to let you know, we do have those two Two thirds of the stock has gone of those embossing folders. We've also got some other ones on the show that you can go and take a look at. And we've also got some stencils as well. Right, let's head back to John because we've got some great demonstrations still to come. We've got about 14 minutes left of the show. Uh, Vanessa has emailed back and she has added the new colours to her collection. So that means, Vanessa, you've got them all. Yes, you yeah. have the whole lot, which so is more far, than you've me. Got them all, is it? Because my summer brights have now run out have and they're they? finished. Are they? Yeah, what we do is we bring in, I think this is the last sets we're doing. Yep. Because this plugs the gap, and we said we weren't even going to go as far as this. Okay. But this plugs the gap, so maybe in a couple of years we might say, oh, we'll bring back and do a, a special yes. collection edition or something. But once they've gone, they've gone. And I know, you know, the summer and the autumn have sold out completely. I believe that the metallics and the basic brights have gone yeah. completely, which is why now we've brought in the spring and the winter. Um, but that's how we do it. So you've actually got more than me because I know I've got two or three colours. I've, I've got another question. I've got another question. I've got another question. I've got another question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How about for all the jewellery makers out there that are making perhaps in silver, sterling silver or metal? Could we use it on that? It seal doesn't it in work a way? on metal. Okay. It doesn't work on glass. Right. And it doesn't work on shiny metal because okay. there is nothing to almost attach it to. Right, I don't you. understand it because it works on the resin, which yeah, is plastic, yeah. and it works on wood, and it works on metal, it works on concrete, but when you start to try and go on to a pure clear Perspex colour, yep. it... Well, I've got to say that because it, it does, because we changed the formulation just slightly with these ones. Well, it kind of does then. And it does. How about turning it the other side? And what, it shouldn't, but what, it does. So I'm not going to say it does, but it does. Yeah, yeah. We're not <laughs> I wasn't say, expecting that. I was we're expecting, not going to say it does, I but it kind of does. I wouldn't use the lid of my ink pad yeah. if I thought that would work. Yeah. Wow. I, I genuinely wouldn't. Well, it's something to oh, try. And it's not even. I could scrub that off, but I could seal it and it would stay on. Do you know what? It's something to try yeah. when you get them home, isn't it? Something to try. Again, if you've got any questions, please do email in. Um, we will try and ask as many as we can. Art. Art, Art Angel, Angel thank has you, emailed Art in. Angel. Oh, thank you for emailing in. Yes, you can paint onto fabric with the Micro Magic. Take a bit out of the palette and mix it with some golden GAC 900. Sounds like a motorbike. Don't know what that is. It will be a medium. Oh, it's a medium. GAC. Oh, yes. Oh. Isn't GAC 900 from um, Royal Talent? Something. And it's golden. Is it golden? It's yes, golden. golden. It's I knew, golden. I knew it was there somewhere uh, with golden GAC 900. So there you go. That can work. We'll and that will turn it into a, a fabric, fabric paint. paint. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much for emailing Thank in. You, Thank Angel. you very much. So have a look on the website, Sam, because we're going to need some of that. Right. Yes. Now, what else can we do, John? So, wood. Yes. Actual wood. Okay. Not treated or prepped. No. These are the, like the wood slices they did for weddings a couple of years ago that were really popular. Yes. Yeah. yeah so shall we go? Bottom straight? of the Christmas tree when you have to cut it off. Yes. If you've still got that somewhere, yeah. which you might. Well, if you look carefully, you'll be able to see the actual saw marks on it. Oh. So oh. not prepped. Oh, we can see how old it is but as well by the lines. Straight on. Hey, John, great for coasters then. Yeah. Oh, amazing for that. We of course you could pour clear, clear resin over the top and it won't float off into the clear resin. Whatever design you've put on there will yeah. stay. So you can see, I can straight away show you there. Straight onto no wood. Gesso, no gesso. No gesso. Straight onto wood. Straight onto wood. And of course, because it's completely neutral, yeah. I, mean, I keep showing this, but I just love this idea of it. If I were to put this outside, would I need to seal it, John? I would, I would seal anything you put yes, outside, good idea. to be honest. And you can buy lots of different Because wind and sealers. weather, and, yeah, yeah. Get, a, get a spray sealant. This is Versafine. Yep. If you're stamping onto a gilding wax or a paint or something yeah. with that sort of sheen and shine, yeah. Yeah, you would use stays on, wouldn't you? You would. No. Versafine, black. But I don't know if Tom can get in close enough to show, if I hold this up, come on, Tom. the detail of those butterflies that's come out on come top on, of it. Come on, Tom. I think that's his... Oh, away. 
He's coming in. He is. Well shot. Focus. Can you see that? Oh, yes. You've not lost a single bit of detail of an extremely detailed stamp. Wow. On top of that, and of course, it didn't need to use stays on. Do you know, I've got um, an old letterbox. Don't hold it against me, but I have. <laughs> <laughs> I did hear that about you, but I didn't want to believe it. <laughs> Don't spread rumours. Um, but it's, it's a really old vintage one. I've painted it black, but I need something to highlight. It's got on top, it's got letters. So I needed something like to highlight that, some like gold. These micros would be absolutely perfect. So I don't want a lot, I just want a suggestion. And yeah. then I could seal it. I've got some sealant spray. Yeah, just seal it and then That'd it's done. That'd be a done. good idea. Yeah, it will, if it goes on, you can seal it. Yeah. And then it's permanent. So, so you're talking about letters. This is a, an MDF, like a routed letter. Okay. Okay. So we'll go T for Tom. T for Tom. Who's our director today? Who's our today? director. So on, this time on with the, but look, so this isn't gessoed. But you've still got the vibrancy of the colour. So not only, you would think, if you put ink onto Jess, onto MDF when yeah. it's not gessoed, yeah. it soaks in and it goes murky. Yeah, and it doesn't look very nice, no, does it? No, it's not bright. You so get a very matte look to it. Well, uh, uh, just something that's not very yeah. nice. So I'm going to go into this coppery colour for the bottom and a little bit of the copper colour for the top. But that, so I'll hold this one up now again to the camera at the front. Can you see? Look at that. And, well, and you get go. the vibrancy, you're you get the shine. You're also getting the shine. But what I can do is I can colour the whole thing, so you might say, well, at the sides, you know. No. Works just the same. But I can then start to play and go, right, do you know what? I think Tom desi desi deserves a little bit of silver. Absolutely. Around the edges. So let's. I'm going to go on with a base of silver all over, because I'm messy. OK, but then I can go back in with my red. Can we mix these with water and you paint with them? So can take we? a little bit out on the brush. Yeah. Or either, if you want to watercolour with them, have a separate palette for watercolouring. OK. Because as you add water to them, they will solidify into discs of paint. So and you, you can actually make another off. palette? Yes. So you can almost make yourself a watercolour palette of micas from them. Could we mix them? But what you do is take a brush yep. like this. See, this is the weird thing. When I activate a brush on top, can you see how that's turned to powder? Yep. So I could add water to that. I bet I've got no water in any of my water brushes. Do you want some water? No, honestly, I'll be... I, I could put some in. I've got, I've got some in my water bottle that They've I could got put a, in yeah, a jar. We'll be fine, Have we got a little no. a, a jar, just some water that. for our John? A little jug, a little jar. Oh, I have a little bottle, don't oh, I? Oh, we have a little bottle. And a pipette. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. We're self-sufficient. We're the all The fantastic right. Lewis brought me some water. Oh, yes. Unlabeled. We do need water. Sorry, we do need water. <laughs> this is water. like a game show, like it's a knockout. You know what? No, we don't need water. We've got water. It's a generation game, let's face We're it. All, we've got water. Yeah. We're OK. Charmaine, put the water down. We're all right. So I was running in with away water from the sink. in a kill him jar. We're okay. But this is the fab thing. I keep saying this is the thing I love about this. We all help each other. Yeah. We all share tools between. We are all friends and all get on. Genuinely, we are a real. Fa you know, we are a big family. We People are. go. You just say that. <laughs> yeah, I know. But you're the big sister that's always saying things behind me back, love. Well, I, I was going to agree with you there, but then I, th I saw Charmaine with a coffee, thinking, yeah. Why didn't I get one of those? Yeah. But can you see now? I have turned <laughs> that into a smooth watercolour paint. That is now, if fabulous. if I take this water brush yeah. to that, I'm going to contaminate that. So we don't do that. So you don't do that unless you're willing. Yep. And the easiest way, if you want to do a lot of watercolouring, yep. the easiest way, to be honest with you, is to have a second set okay. to be your watercolours. And then you could take the water brush to it if you want this, to. And you can take the water brush to it and you'll create your own palette. But literally there, I'm just mixing it to make my own little watercolour paint. Do you know what? It would be worthwhile doing Shimmer. that. I'd be very tempted to, yep. I've got an older sample set at yeah. home that I was sent originally to test the colours. I'm really tempted to do that but I've had the mould back. Okay I've got another question why we demould because I'm just thinking selfishly about me and my crafting now. If I were to mix these into or with like some white acrylic paint. Yes. 
they would work? They would work, but the white acrylic paint has a lot of pigment in it. Right. So you would need to use a lot of that to actually colour your acrylic. Okay. You'd be better to actually paint your item you want to with your white acrylic and then rub that on the top. Perfect. You'll there waste you go. far, far less. There's your answer. I know I'm supposed to tell you how to no, make thanks. sure you use lots of it yeah. and buy more. No. Thanks, Don't John. waste it. Paint it white and then put that on That'll top. That'll do for me. Right. So you said, so first of all, I'll pull the one out. Sam's already part okay. pulled it. That's the yellow one, look. I, do, I just can't believe that's set in seven minutes. You that's look amazing. At that colour. Wow. Okay, look but at the rest of it. It's white. Look at the back. None of it's floated. This is the back of all of it. But look at the mould. There's nothing None in there. None of it. And it's pulled 99. In fact, that's me putting my finger in. Yeah, I'd say 99.9. 99.9% of the colour out. But that is the yellow with a little bit of gold in there that oh I've my used. Days. Let's have a look at the but next look one. Look at that intensity. This is the one that Sam did earlier, I think. Here okay. we go. Hold it straight up. There you go. Oh, that's beautiful. But look at the back. It's spotless. That's. But that. That's lovely. And of course, that's fixed and permanent. It's not floated up. None of it's moved. And then the one I did. There you go. Oh, look at that. But you can see where I put the gold and then the copper on and the red. But show the moulds again the because this oh, is amazing. One mold. would think that all the colours would be left in the mould, and they're not. No. The only dirty bits are on the outside where we've overflowed a little <laughs> bit. But literally, I don't know another way to do that because you'd just hope. No. You would you pull would. your colours in and hope. But again, I can take this one here and I can go, yeah, but I, I want to go further. So I now want to make this look more regal. So get the gold. And what you've got is instant oh, no. results. I don't like gold on that. It doesn't show up. So let's go silver, shall we? Instant results. Let's make that crown silver on top of the green and you're just using your finger there john because it's it's safe to do so i'm using my finger because it's safe to do so it has been tested to make sure that it is safe to go on people's hands yep. and cause no problems yep. it has not please don't use it to body paint yourself no please it has don't. not been tested to that level no that so would be a great thinking, demo to see oh i like the red and i'll have some for blusher it's not been tested to that no. level uh, we've got 45 seconds left what an absolutely fantastic show so many demonstrations to see how the magic mica works and i'm sure you'll agree with me with john with everyone here in the studio watching those demos it really is magic isn't it get your pop it into your basket make sure you do before we sell out because we're kind of heading that way 42 47 gets you your two brand new color palettes and also your daubers as well uh, 42 pounds and 47 pence 628 is your item number john thank you so much thank you uh, you're back at four o'clock back at four o'clock for the final call thank you sam sam's back at four o'clock as well with us that mysterious hand that comes in and goes out uh, thanks john <laughs> thanks for watching but don't go anywhere We've got a great show coming up